Hi everyone, Dr. Daniel here from Southeastern Active Health. Today I want to talk to you about pillows. This is our first video in our series on sleep. We've discussed the importance of sleep before in our intro to sleep video. Remember it's important when it comes to our cardiovascular health, our memory retention and also our recovery which is really important, something we're very focused on here at the clinic. So the reason I want to talk to you about pillows today is because pillows are like wearing shoes if you're an athlete. If you're a runner and you're going to do a marathon, I highly doubt you're going to run in a pair of slippers or a pair of thongs because your footwear is really important in terms of providing your feet with the support that they need while you're trying to run a marathon. Sleeping is the same. We spend about a third of our lives in bed and having the right pillow and mattress is just as important as having the right shoes if you're going to be a runner. So the first thing we talk about when we talk about pillows is it has to be comfortable. If your pillow is not comfortable, it can be the best, most expensive pillow in the world. But if it's not comfortable, you're not going to want to sleep on it. And the second thing is, it has to be the right size for you. So just like a pair of shoes, there are lots of different sizes, lots of different densities, lots of different materials. Now the most important thing is that it has to be the right size for you. It's very, very hard to just grab a pair of shoes off the, the, uh, the shelf and know that they're going to fit you. You want to try them on. You want to make sure that they're the right fit. You want to make sure that they're comfortable. So what we do at the clinic here is we get people to lie down on the different pillows and we make sure that their head and shoulders are being supported properly. The closer you are to neutral, so the less tension and the less bend there is in the spine while you're sleeping, the more relaxed your body's going to be, the less tension your muscles and joints are going to have on them, the more efficient you're going to sleep in and the better you're going to feel. What we're going to do next is we're going to go through how to actually position the pillow properly for the best night's sleep. We're going to go through how to position the pillow when you're on your side and when you're on the back because really they're the two best positions to sleep in. Yeah, so Karen, I'll just get you to lie down. So if you can see here, Karen's lying down, she's on a pillow, she's about to go to sleep. And what I'll get Karen to do is just try and fit your hand in between your neck and the pillow. There we go. And so what that tells me is that the pillow is not actually providing Karen with any support of her neck and her shoulders because she can easily get her hand in. So to position the pillow correctly, what we're going to do is we're going to get Karen to lift her head up. I'm going to push the pillow into her neck and then get her to relax. Now if I get her to try and put her hand in, we can't. So as you can see, her spine's nice and straight and the pillow is actually filling the space where her neck is and it's providing the support, ensuring that she gets a good night's sleep, which is very, very important. Now I'm going to get her to roll over on her back. Just jump on your back for me. And again, most people just lie down, plonk themselves down. And as you can see from the side, her neck's not in a great position. And if I slide my hand in, it's very, very easy. There's not a lot of support under Karen's neck. So if you're going to lie on your back, and it's very, very good to lie on your back sleep-wise, the best way to position yourself, we're going to lift the head up, we're going to cradle the pillow around the neck, and then we're going to let it go. And now you can see Karen's neck and shoulders are really well supported. She's nice and relaxed, and I guarantee you right now, she's going to have a fantastic night's sleep. So for a great night's sleep, remember, the pillow has to be comfortable, it has to be the right size, or it has to be fitted to you. And the way you position it is very, very important. I hope you have a great night's sleep. That's all for now. We'll see you next time.